What's up guys, it's Carter and I'm back with another video. And today is the first week back from my deload week, which was my vacation. So no lifting at all that week. Um, so you know what that means. There's going to be a lot of soreness this week. And there was plenty of it to go around. Uh, four workouts this week, as usual. Uh, most of it's the same, but we got a couple different variations. So we started off with a bench press, and I was going for it. You know, usually when I come off a deload, I'm pretty strong. And 315 gets stuck right there in the middle. Wasted. <laughs> so it was a little ambitious there. Um, probably should have. I worked up to, I think it was 270 before that, and uh, rather than making another incremental jump, I said, you know what, I think I got 315 today, and I didn't, so, you know, I try not to miss lifts like that, but uh, it's alright, we'll be getting 315 soon enough, now that the cut is over and we're up in the calories, I can start progressing on my lifts again, so uh, we did some back off work with the Buffalo Bar, uh, three sets of 10 here at 180. Just getting a nice stretch on the pec. Because I failed that lift, uh, mid lift there, that's gonna be pec. Um, I felt my delts try to jump in and, and compensate for my weak chest. And uh, even they couldn't help the weak chest. So <laughs> we gotta thicken up these pecs and keep it moving so we can get that 315 bench. I have yet to hit a 315. I hit 310, but 315 is the PR I'm going for in the near future. I uh, did some pull downs there with the lever gym and the um, prime fitness handles. Then we moved on to some dumbbell rows. Uh, we did three sets of the lever gym pull downs and three sets of the uh, dumbbell rows. This is something new coaches added in. We were doing the dumbbell rows on lower days. Uh, but he added them into the upper days and just cut the the sets down to three. And this session was pretty tough, man. Um, you know, it was the first session back from the deload, and I was kind of it's pretty gassed, felt a little bit weaker than uh, you know I normally do. But that's to be expected. Uh, it usually takes me a session or two to get back in the swing of things. Uh, grip was wanting to fail me on those uh, dumbbell rows. Uh, then we moved on to some lateral raises. Get a little, little bit more delt, and hadn't done these in a long time. Uh, coach threw them in, and uh, but I do like them. Always like lateral raises. Hit that side delt pretty good, and I think I'm using 25s there, so pretty light. Then we moved on to the band press downs as usual, but this time I did something a little different. I attached the uh, the lever gym short bar that goes with the cable system. I uh, used a carabiner and attached it to the band for the band press downs, and I liked it. A little bit of a different um, variation than what I've been doing by just grabbing the, each end of the band with my hand. So I'll probably be doing those for a few weeks, and uh, it did hit the triceps pretty well. And then max effort lower day, we moved on to some just regular back squat. And I upped these about 20 pounds from my last time I did back squats. And it moved pretty well. It was challenging, but it wasn't, uh, I wasn't in danger of failing that rep or anything. But I called it there. Um, I really spent a lot of time uh, warming up for that session. Um, and low back felt really good, so I was happy about that. I actually did a set of reverse hypers to begin the session and I think I'm going to do that from for lower days from now on um, just throw one of the sets in the beginning just to get some blood in the low back and glutes um, so we'll roll with that going forward then we go on to some belt squats and these were tough <laughs> like I said these sessions right after the deload week are tough and I didn't go up and wait or anything these just were blasting my quads um, so only three sets of those. Then we moved on to some glute ham raises. And these were rough too. And uh, did five sets of these. You can see I added some more flags to the wall. It was looking a little bare. I uh, went ahead and got a, an old glory there. And I also got a rogue 
flag as well, just to fill up that blank space. And then we moved on to some reverse hypers to end the session like we usually do. And up these 10 pounds actually. So I kind of made up for the deload week and uh, they were feeling good. I didn't feel like I went up too, too high. They were definitely challenging, but uh, so we're at 140 here. And like I said, last session, that's up about 100 pounds from when we started these back in March. So low back's feeling okay. It's, it's not perfect by any means. It still gives me trouble. Um, the whole week of my vacation, it was bothering me. Um, probably because I wasn't quite as active. Um, when I tend to lay around a little bit, you know, like binge watch TV and stuff like that, it, uh, it tends to get kind of aggravated with me. So movement is medicine. I'm usually moving around, doing a lot of stuff. And, uh, and that week I really wasn't that much. So anyway, on to some speed work, uh, speed bench. We got some, uh, close, medium and wide grip speed bench using 80 pounds of bands and 80 pounds of bar weight and these were moving pretty well but my triceps were just done <laughs> they, they were so sore from uh, max effort upper day um, they were just killing me I was they started cramping up as soon as I started doing these trying to be explosive it was my triceps haven't been that sore in a long time my triceps never get sore honestly but uh they were sore this day, so we were going to do some dumbbell overhead presses, but I couldn't even use, you know, 20 pounds within what I usually do. I think I usually do 60s. The 40s were killing them, so decided to opt for some front raises so we could still get some front delt and some uh, upper part of the chest there. Um, so yeah, went with the front raises. Those felt pretty good, and then moved on to some more uh, pull downs. And these felt pretty good, felt a little stronger than uh, the last session. And I'm probably going to up these about five pounds next time, especially since we're only doing three sets per session instead of five. So I could probably go a little bit heavier um, and get away with it with not having to do those extra two sets. Then we moved on to some more dumbbell rows like we did earlier in the week. And these ones felt a little bit better than earlier in the week. Uh, I had a little more energy for this session. Did some sled drags um, earlier in the week and felt pretty good. That first session, they were pretty, sled drags were pretty tough. I could tell my work capacity had suffered a little bit from the week off, but by the second session of those, uh, it was right back to where it usually is. So um, definitely felt a little more energetic for this workout. Uh, wasn't so drained uh, but they're still challenging these are always challenging uh, these dumbbell rows really really kick my ass I <laughs> definitely don't look forward to them but they are really blowing my laps up um, hitting my back hard so they're doing their job and then on to some band press downs and again I attached that short bar to the band and I uh, really do like this variation I kind of feel it in a little bit of a different part of my tricep, so it's a nice little variation to the other ones. And then on to dynamic effort lower day, and we're using 80 pounds of band tension here, using the buffalo bar, haven't broke that one out in a while for a lower day, and using a, going a little below parallel there, and I'm using... Let's see, 30, 50 pound bar. So I got 80 pounds bar weight, 80 pounds bands. And also we did some speed deadlifts. And I'm using some Elite FTS short bands there. Since I have the half rack, uh, I bought some shorter bands to make those a little bit easier. And I hadn't done speed deadlifts against bands yet. That was the first time. Uh, felt I was ready. I asked Coach if I could go ahead and throw some bands in there for those and he's like yeah as long as your low back can handle it you can go ahead and do that and they really felt good today so uh, I was happy about those they felt explosive didn't bother my back at all 
and I, I was confident pulling explosively. Uh, that's been an issue for me with my low back is kind of building that confidence to be explosive, you know. So we did some good mornings with the SSB and these are just so tough. I'm using only 95 pounds here and they are just, they are just brutal. <laughs> my low back is just so weak right now. But the last time I was doing these, they really did bring uh, my squat and deadlift up a lot. So as long as they're not hurting my back, uh, we're gonna keep with these, I guess, once a week. We did three sets of 10 for those. And went on to some glute ham raises. And these were so tough after the the good mornings. I mean, I think on my, we did five sets here on my fifth set. I think I only got eight. That was the first time I have failed to reach 10 on these in a while. Or actually, if I remember correctly, it was probably the last time I did good mornings <laughs> that I couldn't finish all 10 reps. But, uh, you know, it's all good. Might cut the volume of those down a little bit, maybe uh, on when I do good mornings. Maybe we should only do three of the, the uh, glute ham raises because uh, it's a lot on the uh, hamstrings and the low back and glutes. But as always, ended with the reverse hypers, and these are feeling pretty good. But I, uh, my low back was just done after all this. So uh, I think midway through my fourth set, my low back was just like, nope, we're done. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and called it there. But uh, great session, great week of workouts. I appreciate you guys watching. Please drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Like, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.